Anderson Silva had his last UFC fight. I must tell you, that was a blow. Did you guys feel that? And did you feel like, a, like an emotional blow as a fan? I mean, when there's an end of an era, end of a fighter you've been following, there's something there. And I got to tell you, I saw something different than a lot of people saw. A lot of people are talking about, yeah, well, he's older now, or he, you know, he can't do this anymore. It's just not what I saw. A lot of things happen when you see older athletes, not just fighters, when you see older athletes, and you will see the athlete get old before he does. But there's things that happen. First off, is a conditioning issue. Can't go five rounds when you're an older guy because you can't train the same way. Well, Anderson was into the fourth round, and he was moving around just fine. He was also winning rounds of that fight. I believe two. I don't know the official scorecard. He for sure won the first round. I think he won two rounds. I only offer that to you because he was winning those rounds on his feet. He wasn't giving up takedowns. I understand your Uriah wasn't trying to take him down, but there's only a few facets to the fight. When he's on his feet, he was keeping good movement. He was keeping good range. Not to mention, you, you talk about with an older athlete that he loses his timing or he loses his speed, or he loses his accuracy. I didn't see Anderson throwing air balls. Everything was sticking, including the kicks. He was going kicks to the head, kick inside the legs, boom, jab to the body. His defenses were good. One thing Uriah Hall will do is touch you. Uriah will just touch you. Coach Clayton, train, just touch the guy. Don't worry about hurting him. Don't worry about being fancy. Just touch the guy. Uriah was having a hard time touching him. And Uriah even talked about that after the fight. He said, man, I was having a hard time. Some of his movement, he Throwing me a little bit off at the range. It was a nice compliment from Uriah. So I just share that with you because I don't know that I saw what everybody else saw. Do I see that it, it, it's looking like a good time to not be doing this? For sure. I'm not saying that. But I thought, you know, look, he won some rounds. And he looked good doing it. And he kept the fight in the realm that he prefers to keep the fight. His conditioning was on point. His speed was on point. I also would like you to acknowledge that because if you don't, you're taken away from Uriah Hall's great victory. That is a great win to have. Anywhere you can get it, anytime you can get it, that's a great one to have, and you're in very rare company. And I share that because as, as I look at this fight, particularly the narrative in retrospect, even leading into the fight, thank goodness Uriah Hall didn't fall for any of this. But there was almost this soft bed to fall on for Anderson. Now, that was done out of kindness for people to lower the expectation, but it took away from Uriah Hall. Took away from his ability to go in there and go get a glorious victory, which he did. And now it's happening after the fact. I mean, I'm seeing that it's happening after the fact. People are talking about that Uriah was gun shy. He should have done more. He should have done it earlier. Uriah came out and told the truth, man. I fight. He fights the way I like to fight. I know another way of looking at that is I fought his fight, which is all stand-up. Okay, great. Well, he turns out he's pretty damn good at it. I mean, Adesanya fought Anderson not that long ago and lost the second round and came away saying the same thing Uriah Hall said, which was, man, he's pretty tricky on his feet. Chose to keep it here. Uriah did the same thing. I, I'm just, I, I would only offer that thought to you. The moment afterwards was, it was very beautiful. Anderson did everything right. He walked out when he was ready to walk out. That might sound small. But most athletes, the game ends and they usher you off the court. They usher you off the field. The UFC gave him his moment. The production team gave him his moment. I mean, they were running a TV show. They needed an interview. There was things that had to happen. They gave him, they stayed out of his way. He got down on his knees. He meditated and or said a prayer. Got up and finally left. It was just a cool moment. But then Anderson was talking and he was very open. I really enjoyed hearing him. He even got a, even got a chair in the back and he sits down on it. He just, he does his interview catching his breath and he does his interview, but you could tell he was internalizing a lot. And he was talking about, it's very hard. Michael Bisping was interviewing him and just asked him straight up, is this it? And Anderson said, man, let me go home. This is it in the UFC, but the UFC has decided that. I want to go on here, but I'm not allowed to go on here. I'm paraphrasing guys. But I would kind of like to go, on. Let, let me just go home and talk to my team. It was just a very real moment. This wasn't a guy that was undecided. This wasn't a guy that was trying to negotiate through the media, was trying to leverage or hardball anybody. This was a guy having a real moment and a real conversation with himself. They got asked a tough question for him in that spot on live TV to answer the question, which is, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. It looks like maybe I should move on, but I'll share with you, I don't want to. I put my life into this, I focused, and I've worked hard. 
I will share that with you because many guys think they're working hard, right? The will to win is nothing without the will to prepare. You'll have guys when the match is done, I wanted it so bad. Well, did you get up every day to try to win it or not? And you never know the answer, but when I do see Anderson Silva in a five-round main event against Uriah Hall, who's a top guy, into the fourth round after it already won rounds and he wasn't slowing down. To have that level of condition, that championship level of condition that Anderson's had to display his entire career because he was a damn champion, to have that at 45 years old means, yes, he's got the will to prepare. He did prepare. He was prepared. I saw something a little bit different. I saw a great fight with two great fighters. That's what I saw.